Hey babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time seeing my face on your screen, welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe on your way in, on your way out, whatever you'd like to do. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I'll be doing a 30 random things that you didn't know about me. Tag, um, guys, I'm so sorry I didn't upload a video last week. Like, I was up to here in schoolwork and I just literally did not have the time. Like, genuinely, I didn't have the time. So, I'll be uploading this video today and then I'll be uploading another video on Sunday as per usual for the week. So, um, yeah, I just thought I should just do this little video for you guys to get to know me a little bit more, nothing too hectic. And then on Sunday, I'll be posting a makeup video, something you guys have requested from me. So, do not miss that. And um, yeah, guys, let's get straight into this video. All right, number one is that my full name is actually Zamangwe. It's Zama for short, Zamangwe for long, I guess. Two is that Mangwe, so it's Zamangwe, and Mangwe is actually my clan name. The full thing is Ndombi Zamangwe, but I only acknowledge the Zamangwe part because. Dombi is not in my birth certificate, so Dombi Zamangwe is my full name. Three is my birthday is actually on the 4th of October. <laughs> my birthday is actually in two weeks time. I'll be turning 20. <laughs> so I'll be doing like a birthday get ready with me type of vibe and I'll have more surprises for you guys that week. Just stay tuned and subscribe. Four is that I'm actually 167 centimeters tall. And a lot of people say I'm short, but like I feel like that's an average height for a 19, 20 year old girl. Like, I don't know. Five is that even though I speak Kosa at home and basically my whole, my whole family speaks Kosa, I'm actually a mixture of Swati and Zulu. My dad is actually Swati and my mom is actually Zulu, um, but we don't speak any of those languages at home. We don't make, really make sense, but um, yeah, I remember when my parents got married, they were wearing sweaty traditional attire and stuff, and I was like, you guys are actually claiming it because y'all don't know how to speak that language. Like, we can understand the type of thing, and I have actually been to Swaziland, and um, I can understand Swati, but I don't really, I can't speak, I can't reply. Zulu, obviously, I can also understand because Zulu and Kosa are pretty much the same, but at home, we are Kosa speakers, um, we, I grew up around Kosa people, so... Six is that the first time ever in my life that I had co-ed schooling was in university. And I think that is so freaking wild, especially when I tell the people, people are always like, that's what? Like, literally the first time I ever went to school with males was in university. I went to the same old girls school for, um, it was like 14 years. Like I went from this, I've been at the same school since I was four, up until my trek, and then obviously now I'm in varsity. So coming into varsity, I was so fucking skeptical. Oh, I should have sworn. I was so skeptical and I was very, very nervous. And I was like, ah, ah, ah. And I was, I'm in a co ed race, so my mom was like, ah. But um, it's been like an amazing experience and it's just hella fun. Seven is that in school the extramurals i did i did guitar i did singing i did tap i did modern i did netball i pretty much did everything for like a short period of time <laughs> um honestly i'm that person like i was trying everything my mom would let me do like i even did ballet mom let me do a lot of stuff but like as soon as she saw that like hey you're not interested she's you're not like very like interested and you're not showing me that you're like very passionate about this thing she was like oh two what it's one it is that I'm so freaking indecisive. It takes me like forever to make a decision about anything. Like honestly, I'm the most indecisive person ever. And it's so funny because at home, they're always at me for making the decisions. My mom also like, where are we eating? I'm like, you're finding out where we're eating. You're finding out where we're going. You're finding out. It's always me. And I'm like, you guys don't understand that like, I'm not the one for this job. Like I'm the worst person for this freaking job. And they all, I think they're all indecisive as well. So kind of just put it on me, but whatever it's so freaking annoying and number nine is that i actually get so annoyed by indecisive people which literally leads in like is, is the fact of they like make me make all the decisions but these people are as indecisive as i am which bores me but anyways 10 is that i actually have two siblings and i'm the middle child which and i suffer from middle child syndrome so freaking badly anybody who knows me who knows my family who knows my story who knows my anything will tell you that i am literally middle child syndrome personified and it's so funny because anytime i speak to other middle children like we all relate like it's just like if you're a middle child you just get it like and 
last borns first borns like you'll never understand what we go through but like being a middle child is so freaking painful because just in life people just don't have you so it's just not freaking grand but yeah, I am the middle child 11 is my sister and I are actually 17 months apart so she's my older sister but I never ever make let her forget that she's an older sister like she must never ever forget the fact that that 17 months exists and she's an older sister and she needs to do older sister things shame but it's really really nice having a sister who's really close to me because we're very close point when we fight we fight AF like Honestly, like we'll we'll rock like really hard, but like when we love each other, we love each other really hard, and it's mostly like that because we don't see each other a lot. She lives, she, we're at the same university, but we don't live together, so we like only see each other a few times. When we see each other, it's ah, oh, where's a good time? Having an older sister is honestly like the best thing that could have happened to my life because I'm literally a shamble, and she like holds me together at many times. So shout out to you, be like. <laughs> Number 12 is that my brother and I literally look the same and my brother actually has a YouTube channel I will link it down below if you guys want to see how he looks, but he honestly looks exactly like me It's a little bit scary like Those jeans are so freaking strong like me and him we be twins and I've literally fought this thing for the longest time Like I've been like no, no, I don't see it. No, no, no Why are you telling my brother he looks like a girl? No no, but honestly we we look very similar and shout out to that because me and my brother we are 13 is like my favorite food ever ever in life are wings and specifically Cubana wings guys When I tell you Cubana wings will change your mind your life your soul your feelings your emotions Everything about you will be changed when you eat those wings. Like I don't know what sauce it is that they put on there, but when I tell you, guys, show oh, they did the things with that with that sauce, with that all those ingredients. Like those wings are amazing. And honestly, if there's one thing you need to do before you leave this earth, is taste Cubana's wings. Like honestly, there's no way you're gonna be sorry. Like they're done. 14 is that for most. For most of my life, I told people that I was allergic to things <laughs> that I didn't like eating. So if I hated something, I'd be like, no, I can't eat it, I'm allergic. Like, I really can't. And I was so serious, like, in my face, I was, no, I can't eat it. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm allergic and I'm gonna, like, start puffing up and it's just not gonna be pretty. And it was especially, like, things like tuna and, like, when I would go to people's houses and they were on some porridge for breakfast, I was. I can't eat porridge, like tasty wheat, I can't eat that. I can only eat, um, what's this thing called, oats, other types of porridge. Got me out! And I was so freaking serious, guys. And I think this thing started from, Mahava once made this dish, the tuna thing specifically. She made this dish with tuna, it was like pasta, it was hot pasta with tuna. And I mean, some, some people like that, but like I can't do tuna, something that's supposed to be cold and you're putting it in a warm dish, it literally just tasted like nasty. So after that, I was like, I'm allergic. I was like, I think I just felt something in my soul that was just like, no, we're not reacting well to this food. No, 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 no. So after that, I was like, no, I'm allergic. And but now I eat you know, but back then I was, I was allergic, honey. So anyone who knows me from before probably still thinks I'm allergic, but guys, I'm really just not allergic to something. I just was just not in a in the phase to like it. But yeah. Fifteen is that I've never ever in my life had chicken licking, and as South African people say that like. I'm disgraceful, I'm rude, like where did I grow up, who are my parents, like what is the chat? But to be honest, like I don't even think we even, I don't have a chicken licket by my house. There's no chicken licket by my school. I don't even know where I would even start finding chicken licket. In Cape Town, I swear they have like three chicken lickets in this whole city. And I'm sure one, I think one of them is in city center. So now I'm not going to go all the way there for chicken, like that's doing a lot. Um, and anyways, with things like KFC and stuff, my mom literally would like, she'll judge me now if she finds out that I'm eating KFC. So like that's a big secret that I'm having to keep to myself. Um, but yeah, my sister judges me as well. Like KFC is bad guys, but those wings really bang. That's pretty much anything I even have from KFC. KFC wings bang. And please like this video if you agree that KFC wings bang. Because baby girl, you know they bang. You know they bang. So 16 is that for a lot of my meals in the week, I'll probably be having popcorn as like a full meal. Because guys, rest food is a lot. And I'm literally just a popcorn fiend. I love popcorn so freaking much. Like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I eat popcorn as a meal for a a lot of my meals it's bad but yellow uh, 
17 is I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it when my food mixes on my plate. Like if I'm having a plate of like spinach, meats, salad, and everything like is touching each other, like I could, uh, it's literally the worst thing. Or I'll eat around those places that are touching and then I won't eat the parts that touch because I don't know what it is. I just don't like my food mixing like that. 18 is that when I was 15, years old please just deep this when I was 15 years old I actually weighed 83 kilograms which is lots. Um, I was going through something I don't know what was happening but I was extremely big when I was 15 years old and I think someone is still the fear of God in me and was just I think my mom one day just told me she was like babe you're actually just going to get diabetes because diabetes actually runs in my family and we have a history of high cholesterol and we just have a lot of things in my family and one day I was just like you know what um I don't want to die I don't want to and it was it wasn't even a thing of my weight it was more like how I was eating so like I'm not trying to make this if someone weighs 80 whatever kilograms that they should feel any type of way but genuinely for me it was like we have these diseases in my family and if you keep eating sugar and you keep eating excessive amounts of fat and all this stuff like you will get these diseases and i was very scared because my mama herself already like she didn't have sugar and stuff like that like she tried to minimize those things because she knew that diabetes runs the family i was like this lady is serious about it so clearly i need to get my act together so um which leads to my number 19 is that i actually lost close to 20 kilograms in around one year it was like a year yeah it was like a year three months a yearish um and yeah i told you guys i was going to be making a video on this which i will um just give me time I'll do it I promise 20 is that despite all the things I've just said I hate the gym so freaking much if you see me on snapchat on Instagram anywhere at the gym just know that on the inside I'm dying like I really just hate that place 21 is that I have an attention span of a goldfish it's like I literally I can't pay attention for too long it really really hacks me in lectures and stuff like that because to sit and like focus on one thing for a long period of time really like it's I struggle doing that I need to take Ritalin like no one is here in my chat but I genuinely struggle to focus 22 is that I really don't like movies and probably this also has to do with my attention span situation um, movies take like two hours of out of my life and a lot of them suck to be honest but i'm not saying a lot of mo movies in general just the type of movies that people want me to watch suck and i can't do that it's either i'm falling asleep or i'm leaving or i'm i end up doing something else while you guys are watching the movie um which is why i will only pay for a movie if i am guaranteed that this movie is going to keep my attention for the whole time and like that is i need to watch reviews i need to be it needs to be on social media it needs to be everywhere but even so sometimes the movies that you guys hype are boring f and sometimes it's not even a thing of it being boring it's like the things that happen are so freaking predictable because these days everything the same shit happens in every single movie so it's like why am i watching this like, this happened in the last movie as well so why do i waste my time i love my own company anybody who knows me knows that i really really love being by myself i'm not a person who gets lonely very easily because i genuinely enjoy just being by myself having conversation with myself watching series by myself writing by myself reading by myself chilling with myself doing my makeup by myself honestly a vibe 24 is that I'm a Christian. I was brought up Anglican Christian. I went to an Anglican school and I'm still a Christian to this day. <laughs> um, 25 is that I have pretty long natural hair. Like my natural hair, if you guys have watched my Invade My Privacy tag, I will leave it on the screen. Now, um, you guys would have seen my natural hair. My natural is pretty long, um, but I just don't like wearing it out because I'm a lazy ass baby. Like I'm so freaking lazy. 26 is that I am the biggest, biggest Beyonce fan. Please don't at me in the comments. Don't at me. Don't spam me. Don't. Let's not talk about it in the comments because I said what I said. Okay, thanks. 27 is that I actually started YouTube, um, like watching YouTube when I was. I'm gonna say in grade 10 ish, and it was actually because of my acne. And if you guys haven't seen my acne journey video, I'll also leave that in the cards right now. But I actually watch, started watching it because um, I started seeing like pimpling and stuff. So then um, I started watching videos. And that the first person I actually watched was um, this girl called Vicky Logan. Her videos still now are like my favorite videos like ever. 
and yeah so that's actually how my little youtube stint started and i've been watching youtube ever since i watch youtube every day every hour every minute it's actually bad but i watch youtube all the time it's also actually how I got into makeup and actually really started experimenting and stuff with makeup was actually because of my skin. 28 is that surprisingly I really really enjoy both summer and winter equally. Like I enjoy winter because I love to get warm but I enjoy summer because heck keep festive, keep big days. They don't do the most in summer but I love them both equally. I hate a lot of things about both of them so I don't really have a preference when it comes to season. I'm, I love everything. 29 is that. The name of my channel, although you guys, a lot of people I hear say Zeke's Online, Zeke Online, Zonline, like I hear a lot of variations, but what I actually meant it to be was Z Online. The X was just to separate the Z and the online. I started with my blog and even from then people just got confused. So I just kind of let people say what they want to say, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's really just Z Online, it's not ZX Online. The X is really just it's supposed to be separating the Z and the online, but you know what? Say what you want to say. Ooh. Ew. Say what you want to say, whatever. I don't really mind anymore because I'm just like, you know what? People are going to make it their own, which is okay. Like, it's our channel, essentially. It's everybody. It's the channel for the people. 30, which is my last one, is that literally <laughs> two weeks ago when I was in the cafeteria at my university, someone nearly de-wigged me in front of let me just tell you guys the story. I was sitting in the cafeteria, minding my business, talking to Snakes, and me and Snakes were actually talking about how um, we don't secure our wigs, right? And we're like, wow, like we're actually doing the most by not securing our wigs because people like to do this thing where they hug you really, really, really tight, and then your wig is on some receding, and you're on some um, babes. Back up! So we're having that conversation, whatever, y'all don't skip my wig, and we're like, yeah, yeah, in the future, we'll probably, we probably, we should probably do that, and then, fine, that conversation ends, and I was snapping, taking snaps with each other, you know how we be doing, if you don't have me on Snapchat already, add me on Snapchat, but, um, yeah, we're snapping, and, um, I actually caught some of this on Snapchat, but I was snapping her, like, talking, I don't know what I was saying, and then I see this guy in the corner of my eye walking behind me, so I'm like, I didn't really pay any mind to it because I mean it's the cafeteria, everyone's walking, whatever, it's not that deep. So I see her walking like this way, then I can hear something behind me like as if I heard as if she slipped, right? Didn't pay it any mind because I was like, that has nothing to do with me. Then I found out her home girl during this situation of hers, she doesn't even grab onto my chair because I was sitting like quite forward on my chair so there was enough room for her to grab onto my chair. No, home girl goes for my wig. <laughs> When I tell you my wig guys was here, this is how I was sitting in the cafeteria. <laughs> so now Snakes luckily is the only one who saw it. So I quickly just snatched myself and fixed my life. But guys, she was this close to taking my whole wig off. Can you guys imagine the humiliation, the embarrassment, the, you know, trauma? I was dealing with PTSD for like a week after that. I couldn't go to the calf feeling safe guys it was so freaking bad guys so please secure your wigs i know it's not secured right now but you guys need to secure your wigs because bitches is trifling Alrighty, guys that is the end of my video if you guys have not already please do not forget to subscribe on your way out and of course don't forget to follow me on all my social media which will be right here right now don't forget to check out my video on sunday because i will be having a video on sunday this is just a bonus one since i didn't upload last week as i've already told y'all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.